At First Liberty, as you've probably mentioned before, we represent people of any faith anywhere in America. And there are people across a broad spectrum of faith traditions that have deeply held religious convictions when it comes to the theology of the body, including vaccines. We have been inundated uh, with calls on this issue. So what we've done is we have created a resource and put it right at the top of our website that if you go to firstliberty.org, it's a free download and is a, um, basically a toolkit to, that you can walk yourself through and walks you through the process of how to ask for um, a religious exemption to whatever uh, mandate, whether it's your employer, um, is, the, is a private employer, government, military, whatever the case may be. Why not mandates? I saw something about the Amish. Now, the Amish uh, really don't adopt a lot of technology, and this is really a high-tech vaccine. There's no, no doubt about that. Uh, but I saw a court ruling against their religious rights. Yeah, in some ways, we're kind of in, in uncharted territory um, in the law. And so, um, you know, we're constantly looking at, you know, every request for help that comes in. Uh, we, we, we need to be careful. We have limited time and resources as well. So we want to make sure that we've got good clients with good facts and a good jurisdiction so that we can win and create good law. Um, because sometimes there's a, there can be a temptation to rush to court on issues. And if you do that, sometimes you can end up inadvertently you know, losing a case and making bad law and making the situation even worse. So that's why we've asked everyone to go to our website first and read through that toolkit, request your exemption. And then if you're denied the exemption, come back and request legal help after that. Well, let me take the other side of this. What if I want everybody to get vaccinated because I'm worried about my own personal health? What gives someone a religious right to, a, to uh, oppose a vaccine? Well, I mean, going back, you know, many, many years um, throughout uh, the court's jurisprudence and just generally accepted principles of law, people have a right to live according to their beliefs. And that can look, you know, very different according to what the circumstances are. But it's not exclusive. It's not excluded from issues surrounding health care. And, you know, vaccines uh, going back, you know, many, many years. There, as I said, there are people from a, a wide variety of religious backgrounds who have deeply held convictions on these issues. Uh, some of the people who have contacted us have never been vaccinated ever in their life. Um, and so this is nothing new for them. And, you know, it's a rel well-established principle that people can request, based on deeply held religious convictions, to be exempt from certain requirements. And so that's why we put together the, the toolkit that's on the website. People can read through it and uh, kind of educate themselves on it. What if it. they just came to that conviction, though? What if, what if it, it just came to them, uh, like, really, I, I think God wants me going this way and I'm obeying? What happens then? Well, they still have a right to it. I mean, there, there are a lot of people that maybe have never considered this issue up until now. And so maybe it was this particular vaccine that prompted them to study more about what their faith teaches and arrive at a decision. And if they arrived at a decision, you know, that is in keeping with their uh, religious beliefs that prevents them from taking this vaccine, then they should request an exemption of that religious belief.